Hey everybody, welcome in, and <sighs> I was just getting ready to start and I'm full of energy so I thought I'd play a game, it was a great match, and as I was two times, two or three times I let my opponent off the hook, and then the last time I went up and attacked the Krillia into a glade, hit my big purple, and he had his little teleport, got a teleport, jump over, mega attacked, and none of my other attacks worked. And I was like, oh, I just didn't get the rolls after that. And I was like, if I didn't attack, if I only let, moved up, I would have. I had all the surrounds and everything else set up. I was like, oh, man. That time that you want to attack to create more pressure. And it always backfires on you. And I was in a very good position. But that's why my streak is gone right now. And we're going to look to start it again. It would have been an amazing match to to have and play over and, and have have done on the stream because it was actually a really good match and my opponent played very well and made a very good decision in the end when he got the roles he needed. But uh, so disappointed, disappointed, kind of in myself and it's always it's also it's always one of those things that especially for me that I do, I'm just like. Right, if I if I just move here, I'll be in a good position. But if I attack and win, I'll be in like a super dominant position. And then I attack and lose. And this <laughs> feels bad. But hopefully. Oh, he's using the shiny ho. -Oh. I like it. I like it. Mr. Shiny Ho -Oh over there. Ghosts are doing super damage. I like that too. What is he running plate wise? He's just running a hurdle jump, so I don't want to move right up into the middle. Um, I was just considering it, just in case I wanted to and pop on up there and cause some trouble. But what is my opponent going to do? Gets the old shiny ho out. Well, I'm just going to move my nebby out here. And force him to cover his goal right now, or else I am going to go for that teleport win. I want to tell you guys. So far, at least, say say I've played, of how many games? I've played about eight games. At least five of those have been wins by Nebby. And now, if I hit my teleport here, Versa White. Good GG, geez. Um, and his only other option there was goal blocking or running back with Lunara. Oh, oh, not quite. And now I give it away that I, I can't be surrounded. Um, so that's a shame as well. But what I will do is I'm, I'm just going to get my Del Fox here. Um, and then, so what is this? Um... If this Pokemon is KO'd, I think all ghosts spin, and if they spin a purple, they get knocked out. I think that's what the ability is. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go move at my Lele here. Lele is not too afraid of Sableye. Not too afraid, I say. Um, and then I'm going to go for a full... Oh, no, he's going to go for it himself. So, let us put my... Mashadow right up in here. Is he running both forms? No, just one. And this is a very good matchup for me. If I hit my white, that I win. And if I hit purple on his white, I win. And boom. I'll take that. What is this Lunala? This is an 82, mine's an 80. So no chain levels on my Lunala. I always kind of like Ever since when Lunala and Leo first came out, Lunala was like the super OP, had them, could move over things, had the halving everything's damage, had them big moongeists, and it was just so, when Lun whoever was playing way back when they did, were they OP? They were, they were super OP. Um, but anyway, so because they were so OP, I was like, eh. Ah. When I eventually, I didn't get my, I didn't get my Lunala until quite a while ago, until they were not that relevant anymore. Um, and now they're kind of coming back in because of Marshadow. Ooh, Nebby's Wish. Teleport. Yeah. 
I'll take that. But I will. I want to just start burning some plates right about now. I want to hit my gold right about now. My white, my gold. If I can hit that, I'll be in an amazing position. Not quite. But that's okay. Loving that Lele. Lele is making all the difference, man. And uh, the extra stars. Making Delphox a 3 star, Lunala a 3 star, Krillia a 3 star. Being amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, if I was him right now, I would be moving down with my Garantina though. I'll be jumping through, popping all around, Mega Sableye. I wouldn't be doing that. I'm just going to say that. I wouldn't be doing that. So, I'm looking for my purple or my blue. That's fine. That's fine. Purple and blue is good for me. So, I am just going to go here and see if I can pop off and get a uh, Nebby's power. And I can. And I'm just going to pressure my opponent to have to back off. Or else he's going to get surrounded on goal. So, simple simple little movements like that. Being able to, being able to see things like that. And use Nebby's power to set up surrounds. And I don't need Lunala on the on the entry points. Um, that is things like that is what what can really make the difference. There are a couple things he could do. He could put Mega Sable out there. It's not going to stop the surround. I will jump over there and get a surround. But ooh, Lunala after Lu on Lunala. All I need to do is hit damage on his damage. But wow, I oh, will take that and I'll get the Evo. And there we have it. That was not a smart decision not to attack. He needed to attack and win there. I had the Marsh Shadow advantage. So Shiny Ho-Oh not even coming into consideration right about now. But we get the win. We get the win, which is good. Um, whew, and see, this is what I mean. Like My Lunala is just level 5. People can have level 10 Lunalas and chain levels. But it's all about what I find with Lunala, the thing that makes it good is the strategy. Yes, you can calm it up, you can put chain levels in, but I find I can still use it without. So I don't need to put all my chains in. I I am considering recently putting 10 chain levels into my Lunala. I am, just, just to make that clear, I'm not, not downing on anybody that does, because it is an amazing mon. But, I still find that I can use it without. So, I'm kind of feeling like, why should I do it if, if I don't need to? Um, and that's how I feel like, and that's why I haven't, like, the last time I put any chains into anything, I think, is when I bought my Zoro. When I matted Zoro, Batman. Alright, Phantom Sphere, fairly good deck. My opponent is running. This looks very similar to the one that was going up against K-Dub on his videos, if you haven't seen it. Uh, let me know if you have seen it. Is this guy running like the same deck? Or is it just my imagination? Um, anyway, what I'm going to do, I like to lead on out with my Nebby. And if they if they have a Krillia, I put my Nebby on the side. Just so if they want to if they wanna block me off, they have to invest their Krillia onto the side. Um, oh, there we go. He's going for the Evo. He's going for the Evo, and this is exactly what happened in Kato's video, and I knew that. Can I hit a, can I hit a, what can I hit? Splash. <laughs> uh, what a shame. Alright. Well, that did not go to plan. I'm just going to get my Lele out. And then... Lele has got a blue. All those X speeds, man. I suppose there is a lot of purple in this gym. Oh, look at that. Purple, 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 half purple, over half purple. So oh, you can see the need for X speeds, and especially every good mon to use it on. Uh, Dartrix, too. Lele, backing up Lele. Alright, so now I'm going to go push on up with my Delphox. And just see what my opponent wants to do. 
I want to look, get into a position where I can surround something that my opponent puts here. Like that. So, right about now, I'm just going to invest my my Lunala right there. He's either going to block me off right there, or if he doesn't do that, he's got to pull something back. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying to trap that Sableye. Does he have, he does have Mega Sableye. So, let us see, what my, is my opponent going to do? Oh, okay, well, I am going to now X speed. I'm going to force my opponent, I want to get a, I want to get a, uh, I want to get a uh, surround. So, I'm looking for my gold into his purple. Oh, I'll take a miss. But one of his mons on the board now are going to get surrounded. Lunala has to take that goal. Or he's got to go aggressive and try and attack me. So we'll see which one he's going to take. Chain level 10 Lunala to. Goal block. Ooh. Interesting. If I go here. Shut down that entry. He's going to go for a surround there. I will give that up actually. I'll give up my Dow Fox. For his entries. Because if he moves here. I can either just throw my Krillia there and block him off. I'd rather lock him down than him be locked down. Ooh, going mega already. Alright. Alright. My purple on his white. No, he's trying to get rid of my Lunala. Oh, come on. 80 versus his. It would have been good if I had my Marsh Shadow on the board. It would have been good if I had my Shadow on the board. So, right now, I will... Get out my Marsh Shadow. I want to be able to take that entry point if he moves that Lunala off. And he did. So, Krillia is coming out to block Lunala. And I don't want him to get all of his Mons out. His best Mon that he could get out right now would be Nebi. Will we get that Nebi out? That's what I would do if I was my opponent. Because if he gets his Nebi out here. No, he doesn't want to do it. So, he didn't go for that, but he could have pulled his Nebi out there, and then I would have had to be forced to cover gold as well, because he could have went up and then gone for a teleport. Ooh, I'll take that. And, do I have sort of an X? I've used my XP, haven't I? But I'll attack this, just in case I hit my gold. I want to hit my gold right about now. Looking for that gold. Oh, <laughs> come on. I hit that. Um... Alright, what has he got? X speed, X speed, max revive. I hit that on that newbie though. I hit that. And he's now he's going defensive. So, I really want to attack his... I really want to attack his um, Datrix and get white on white. But I know if I do, it's going to double spin or he's going to hit my purple into my white. Or something crazy like that. And I don't want to let him get his... Oh, going for Nibby's power right now. Oh, if I hit my gold there. If I hit my gold. What has he got? Does he have a... Uh, no. So, I am going to... I'm just going to go keep attacking, I think. Uh, let's have a quick little look. Lunala. Is it chain level 10? No. So, what do I want to do? Is my question. Um... I, I feel like attacking, but if I, if I attack, I feel like I'm going to get white into his gold now, and I don't want to do that. Um, I am going to max revive. Go after my Nebi. And I'm going to drop my Nebi right up in here. And see if Sableye wants to attack me or if he wants to go defensive. If he doesn't go defensive, I'm going to go try Nebi's power against that. Um, oh yes, 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 yes. I want a double chance, man. Nebby's right now. If I hit a Nebby, I'm going to get my Lunala back. No! No! And then I was going to be pressuring the on goal. Right there. But, man, if I hit that, if I hit that, I go there, I get my Lunala back over here, pressuring the surrounds and the full Evo. Going for the attack. Come on, get a Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I'm hitting Nibbies now. 
Now's not when I want to hit Nebby. Alright, let's give this a go now. Let's hit this Nebby's. Again! I, my opponent must be like, he is so unlucky yet lucky at the same time. Man. I just want to get that. If I can hit Nebby in this position, like I could even attack his Nebby. And because I've got a two star versus his one star. So looking for my purple versus his. There we go. There we go. And now he cannot. He cannot um, move his goal. His Sableye or his Dachix. They, they can't be moved or else he's going to get surrounded. So X Speed Lunala going for the win. And I've got a goal block, so that's okay. I can use my goal block when I need. And I'll probably put my, my Lunala on goal. Oof. Oof. There we go. And just in case... What do I want to do? What? How do I want to play this? I want to... What do I have? Swap spot, long throw. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to play this is the question. I'm just going to jump back here for now. I'll bring my Lunala back. I was thinking about putting my Delphox here. Oh, and he's doing exactly what I was considering. Darn it. Oh, uh, is it worth the risk attacking? Oh, man. Oh, baby. I'm just going to jump back. Okay, I'll jump back for now just so he can't hit that Nibby's power. And then... Mmm, mmm, tricky, tricky situation. XP going on. Alright, another one. Blasting through them. Hopefully, we hit purple on purple again. Oh, oh man. That's got to feel bad for my opponent right there. Do I want a Gardevoir? Yeah, I will take a Gardevoir in a situation like this. Whew. Man. That was, that was dangerous. I want to now. Ooh, what do I want to do? He's going to be going for his Nebby's power. So I need to get into a position where I want to have two mods on the goal. And then I want to get my Lunala up there into all the action. Looking for my Moongeist right about now though. Moongeist will be... I, I can probably attack him. I wish I had my X speed. I want to... I want to have an X speed. I want my, my Delphox to roll some misses. I want him to attack Delphox. Come and attack Delphox. That's what we want. We want him to attack Delphox. I'll take those. I'll take those. Um, but I'm going to just get up into here. I want to get into a very good position. And then... And then be able to cause some damage for my opponent. He's just looking. Looking for... Oh, come on. Give me that, that, that Moonbeam. I don't exactly want to attack his... His Sableye. Attacking Sableye just seems like a death sentence for my Lunala. Um, and that's not what we want at all. Batman, for, for being a 1461 in the gym, he must have had some bad runs. Because he's playing very well. And there's that Nebby's power. Is he going to go for the Evo? Is he going to go for the Evo? Who thinks so? Yeah, he is. Is he going to try and Evo that Cosmog is the question? Um, what does he have plate-wise? Uh, Max Revive and a Phantom Sphere. So he can Phantom Sphere at any time. I'm going to just try this. I'm going to look to attack goal now. Looking for damage on damage or purple on purple. Beautiful. I'll take that. Because now, the reason why I did that now is because he doesn't have Cosmog on the field. He, he's got no goal block. Um, so he can't just use Cosmog to jump back on the goal now that he chose to Evo. And he's got to come in and attack and win right now. He needs to hit gold on purple. If he doesn't hit gold on purple, GG's. GG's. Man, this is why, this is this is where I find, this is like what, all what I've been saying in that last match. I don't have to have a chain level 10 Lunala. You just need to play better. Boom. Boom. Now who should take the goal is the question. Who should take the goal? That can't. That can, that can, that can. I think Lunala, Lunala 
deserves it. Ooh. Ooh. Free to play, guys. Free to play, by the way. Um, but yeah, like I got some, I got some good rolls, I must say. But I also think I had some pretty good strategy too. Just gonna put it out there, putting it out there that my strategy is on point. Um, but man, oh, the game just before I started recording, man, one teleport from a glade that did not have teleport expanded, and I was. I was, I was in such a good position. That I would have been that would have been my sixth and these would have been my seventh and eighth win in a row. <sighs> How are you guys going in the gym? Love to hear from you guys. What do you guys um think about my deck as well and the way I play and the way I strategize. I know thank you, by the way, for all those who've been giving me feedback. I know a lot of you guys and ex members have been talking with me recently. And you guys say, well, SSG, thank you. We actually love learning from you and the way you talk and commentate over games. That's what I love. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. That's why I make videos for you all. Um, and I hope you learn something. I hope I can show you these kind of strategies, the way I think, the way I play. And also, like, people have been saying as well, like, the way I say what the opponent should do as well. Not just what I should do, but what the opponent should do in these situations and what his best matchups are. Um... Yeah, I definitely think my opponent should have got that Phantom Sphere on the board earlier, and then he would have been able to bring out his Marsh Shadow. But he played pretty well. Besides from that, that was my only thing I think he could have done better. Is he he could have put his Phantom Sphere earlier. But I reckon for a deck, I'll, I'll pull up this deck. If I had a second Lunala, I'd have Lunala in place of in place of my um, my Leo as Evo. Um, but this is a deck. And Delphox, just for that big 2-3 to three star purple with Lele on the board. Lele for the purple and blue. I just find that is very, a very, very good thing to have. Um, I do kind of want to reduce the white. But all these things are just not that important for me. Um, I've already had my Nebby and all that leveled up, so I was like, oh, I should use it. If I've got it there, I should use it. Um... So I've leveled up Nevi's power, I I've been considering leveling up another one for teleport, um, and just having a giant teleport, but at the moment, the main time I use Nevi is for strategical surrounding in games like this, um, and yeah, and I've got my Glade rather, or my Gardevoir rather than Glade set as Evo for my, for my Krillia, because I, I do have my Glades all leveled up, but I'm just thinking in this gym, and Glade has a little bit less use. Maybe he'll be, I suppose he'll be good versus the Lunalas, but... Because uh, he, he blocks effects is what he does, um, for those of you who don't know. So, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put him in as Evo, and then having an Evo Glade could be quite, quite nice. But I like the, the blocking of Krillia and Gardevoir, that's why I left her as Evo. Hmm, hmm, my shadow is there for the Lunala and just for helping with the surrounds and having a gold um, because I find that's quite important that can, that, that can give my Lunala the advantage over others that don't have a my shadow and I can, like, like I did in that last match, even if my opponent has a my shadow, I just target theirs. I try and, I try and make myself and give myself setups and openings where I can get rid of their one. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, Love to hear you guys' thoughts on my deck and the way I've been playing, as I've been saying. So, any feedback is always amazing. I love to hear what you guys think of me. It, it, it's, it's encouraging to hear from you guys and to talk with you guys in the comments. So, if you've never commented before, I know there's a lot of people, but if you've never commented before, the reason why uh, content creators, people on YouTube, ask for you to comment. A, some people just want it just for just for the sake of it's good for their profile it's good to say hey i've got likes and i've got comments on my video to promote it and we do want that and i would love that but i don't want to ask for that just for that but i want to get to know my audience i want to get to know you guys the more i get to know you guys the more i can make videos to suit what you guys want to see the i want to get to know you guys because you guys are getting to know me through my videos 
So I want to kind of like get to know you guys a little bit and and a find out what you like, what kind of play styles you like, what kind of videos you like, so I can make more of them for you all. But yeah, that's 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 all. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the comments. Hear how you guys' gyms are going, what you guys think of my matches, and could I upgrade this anymore? Or just for just for the sake of it, I'll show you. These are my uh, psychic ones. So I do have. I could throw this guy in there as the Evo and have like a big uh, 140, the 90 teleport, which would be 100 to 150, which could be quite good. But I don't have either of the megas, so if I had the megas, I probably would throw them in there. And it would be nice to negate Lunala's ability just to attack into it. But I still probably wouldn't attack into it just because of Moongeist. Moongeist, man, it always happens at the worst times. Um, Dio's are probably just not going to be seen. They're just underpowered now. Um, Muse, eh, not, not really point of using. I do have another deck for you guys if you guys want to see it. I, I, I can potentially show you guys. I can potentially show you guys. Um, the last Psychic Gym, I remember when Psychic got a damage buff or MP buff, I think I was running Yu Unit Plus and it was hilarious. But I just don't think they'll stack up in this current meta. But if you guys want to see it, maybe I could do a video of it on the end of my gym. Um, yeah, I know someone's been running, I think H2O Queen's been running the Skirt Bird. Um, just for the extra chain levels, especially since everyone's running them, they can get extra damage that way. That's a smart idea too, but I just, for what my deck brings, I like having the three mons, four mons for maneuverability, the Krillia for the blocking, the Delphox for the pushing people away and potential plate recycling, and the heavy damage that it brings now. So, that's why my deck is the way it is at the moment, and some people were asking, do I have Mega Gengars and things like that? Yes, I've got two Mega Gengars. Um, I do, these are my ghosts, but I just think, generally for gyms, the ones that get the MP buffs, generally do better. Um, and this is not a gym to rush and run Zorak, I was considering putting Zorak in there, but because of the amount of purple in here, I don't think running Zoro is going to be a, that great. Just like, oh, you saw me before, like, Lunala's just go munch Zoro, um, nom, 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 nom. Zoro cereal for breakfast. Um... So, yeah, I'm just, I don't think the damage for the damage buffs for the ghosts, I can, it's potentially like you get plus 20 and then with my shadow you get, they get minus 20, which can be amazing. If you had like two or three Lunalas, whew, definitely, I would definitely be running those just because Lunalas are going to be the best mod in this gym. Lunalas, Nebby, um, and like Krillias are going to be the most key mods. And I like the way mine's running at the moment, but if you guys want to have a little sneak peek at what I've got else planned coming up and other decks that I've got, oh, oh that's it right there. If you, if you, you might be able to, oh no, oh no, there goes the app. So that must be the end of the video. That, that's as much of a preview you got, even the app didn't want me to show you. So I guess we'll see you all next time.